Hey, what is up guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra. I'm going to show you how to screen mirror wirelessly to your LG Smart TV. Now this video is about screen mirroring wirelessly. However, just really quickly, if you guys have one of these um, HDMI to, H to a USB Type-C cable, if you connect this, what you can do is not only can you screen mirror using the cable, but you're also able to use DeX. In other words, DeX is basically where your um, Samsung Galaxy S20 can become like a desktop uh, computer on, on the uh, big screen LG, LG screen and you can use your mouse or you can use your, um, your phone as a trackpad for the mouse. Okay. Anyways, if you want to see that video, the link is going to be below. So this video is about screen mirroring wirelessly. Okay. No cables or nothing. So with the LG Smart TV, what you have to do is you have to first go to this screen share uh, page here. The thing is, like a lot of like Samsung models and stuff like that, the only thing you got to do is just swipe down, um, tap on um, Smart View, and it automatically screen mirrors. But with this these LG models, you have to go to this screen here first. So first thing is go ahead and go to this screen that says Screen Share. There's several ways to navigate to this screen share too. Okay, for example, uh, depending on what model you have. Now I have this is like a 2018 model. Anyways, if I click on this little this little cable button here. And then if I can, I can go down and let me focus in on here and you can see where it says screen share. So if I tap on screen share, it's going to bring me to this page. If you don't have uh, this right here, what you can do is look for something that says like all inputs, like right here. And if I go ahead and click on OK, give this a second here. And now on the, on the left hand side, you can see it says screen share on here. Now another way, if you, if you don't have it on here, another way what you can do is just simply go ahead and tap on the home button on your uh, remote control. Tap on the home button, and then you see all the apps down here. Now what you can do is you can go all the way over, and you can look for screen share as well. So if I go all the way over, all the way over, so that blue one right there, it says screen share right there. If you don't have that, another thing you can do too is go back over here where it says device connection. So if I go ahead and open up device connection, and then from here, what I would have to do is just go down to where it says smartphone. And then it says screen share right here. Then I would just OK that. And then that would, and then I have to go down and click on start as well. So go down and click on start. Okay. But the easiest way is just to go ahead and maybe just tap on the, the cable button on there and just go directly down to screen share. And then this page will just automatically open up. Okay. Anyways, once you have this on the screen, Go ahead and grab your uh, S20, and then what you want to do is you want to scroll down from the top like that, and then you want to, where that little horizontal um, line is, you want to scroll down again, and then you should have Smart View down here, okay? If it's, Smart View is not here, just swipe over to the right and look for Smart View, okay? Another thing I want to note, too, is you have to turn your Wi-Fi on, okay? The connection has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network. You just have to have the Wi-Fi on, and it's a Wi-Fi direct connection uh, through Miracast, However, if you are connected to a home Wi-Fi network, then once you're surfing the internet showing on the big screen, it'll use your home Wi-Fi network. If you're not connected to a home Wi-Fi network, it can use your SIM card, your data from your phone as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this now, okay? Here's Smart View right here. I have that page I needed on, screen share. So let me tap on Smart View right here. And let's see if it, okay, so it finds my LG right here. Now, okay, now one thing to note too, Mine says play content down here. If I see this little down arrow, let me tap on that. So you have play content or screen mirror. Let me tap on screen mirror right there. And then once I do that, I get to start now. So let me go ahead and tap on that. Okay, and then automatically, okay. So there you go. So I'm actually screen mirroring right now. Everything on my phone is gonna be on the big, the big screen here. So whatever I do here, if I look at photos, videos, uh, maybe work documents, whatnot, uh, it's going to show up on the big screen. Even if you do like a Skype call or or something or FaceTime or something like that. But let's do this. Let's just go ahead and let's open up a browser here. Of course, you can like read the news or anything, a website, anything like that. Of course, we can turn it into a landscape mode. And of course, you can like zoom in and out as well. Uh, you can play games on here. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some photos and videos here. Let me go to my gallery here. And here's like a... Uh, a photo here and of course you can zoom in and out and let me play a video here really quickly 
So here's a quick video. Let me allow that. Play video. Oops, allow. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, I can increase and decrease the volume from my phone, but take note, the audio will come out from the TV, not from your actual phone. So that should give you like a general idea how to screen mirror wirelessly. And if you wanted to disconnect, you can just slide down again like that. And then you can slide down. And then one way is you can go ahead and tap on this. Uh, it's, it doesn't say Smart View no more because I'm connected via screen mirror. Now it's the name of my LG TV. I can just simply just tap on that and it, and it would just go ahead and log me off. But also you should have like a floaty icon like this right here. What you can do is just tap on that. And then from here you can disconnect, but you can also do like, uh, you can change your um, phone aspect ratio on here as well. But I just disconnect from here and that's pretty simple. Any issues or anything like that, just uh, comment below and I'll try to help you out, all right?